who's next? We're about to find out why. We're about to find out why did I say who's next? Because we're going to go into the, the Legends roster and we're going to pull off a huge sign and we are going to sign Bill freaking Goldberg. $28,000 for five weeks. Popularity is 69. Yes, we'll have a bit of Bill. Bill Goldberg is now part of the Monday Night roster. I mean, we are assembling a pretty massive roster now. I mean, there's so many people that arguably could be the world champion. I think Gil, uh, Bill Goldberg is just another one that you can add to that list. So, yeah, massive that was signed Bill Goldberg. And now looking at the night show, we're going to have a... We're, yeah, we're going to set up a new rivalry. We're going to have somebody call out Bill Goldberg. And that person's going to be Samoa Joe. So Samoa Joe wants Goldberg. He wants to prove that he's still deserves to be in the main event title picture and what better way to do that than to maybe beat Goldberg as for Goldberg he's going to have his debut match here on Raw so it's going to be Goldberg and he is going to take on who is he going to take on big question big 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 question here is there any free agents we can get Goldberg to take on let's have a quick look here because I don't want to put him against Orton uh Kind of Goldberg versus Goldberg as a bruiser, so potentially I would be looking for a heel fighter, but I don't really see any of them. Um, and we may just pick someone from the roster then and accept that the match might not be that great. So, yeah, let's just do that. It's going to be Goldberg versus Jinder Mahal or Austin Fury. Jinder Mahal or Austin Fury. It's going to be Goldberg versus Jinder Mahal on Raw. Boom. Let's do this. Let's get stuck in to this show. <laughs> will, it, will it be a good show? 131,000. I hope so. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Let's get into it. Last show before the pay-per-view. Need to get some big matches going here. Need to get some big ratings. It's Montez Ford versus Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins picks up the win. Okay match. Two and a half stars. You know what? We'll take that. Not great by any means, but not bad. Uh, Samoa Joe calling out Goldberg, and this was an excellent promo, and it looks like it has set up the rivalry, so this rivalry has been successful, and now it's time for Goldberg to make his raw debut. Uh, 70 popularity, so Bill Goldberg, doing pretty well for himself, he's only just joined Raw, and his popularity has been up one already, so uh, yeah, Bill Goldberg proving that he is one of the main guys here on Raw, and I'm sure if he can beat Jinder Mahal, I'm sure that his, um, you know, his popularity will just go up even more. But here he comes. Don't hinder Jinder. Jinder knows if he wins this. I mean, it's a big if. But if Jinder Mahal wins this, then surely he's back in to the main event level. Maybe he can get another run with the title. But can he beat Bill Goldberg? That is the question, guys. I personally wouldn't be betting a lot of money on it. I'm not too sure Jinder is going to hinder Goldberg tonight. I think Jinder might be the one getting hindered here. And here he comes, Goldberg. Da -na 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 -da -na -na. Why do the, all of the police guys look the fucking same? <laughs> Could they not have like mixed up a wee bit? It's like four guys that have got the exact same fucking glasses, exact same haircut. Seems a bit weird. But here he comes. It's Bill Goldberg's time. Can he make a successful debut on Raw? Could it be pretty embarrassing if he loses this and he goes back to the end of the line? Back to the uh back to the jobber line. Goldberg here. Surely needs to win this. Goldberg does not Hall giving Goldberg a lot of time, a lot of space. Exits the ring as soon as Goldberg comes in. Goldberg getting himself prepared. Warming up on the ropes. Here 
we go Colberg Mahal. What a match on Raw. And we're off. We are off. This, will this be off? Goldberg trying to end Mahal's career there like he did Bret Hart <laughs> with that super kick. Mahal though moved it the way. Mahal, Mahal's a massive guy. <laughs> let's, let's be real. I know he's, he's raking Goldberg's eyes here across that top rope. But I mean, Jinder Mahal was not a baby or anything like that. Jinder Mahal's a big guy. And he's got a big opportunity here to make a name for himself on Raw. But Goldberg with a spin kick and just sends Mahal to the, the floor. Now Goldberg here, he strikes his own. Mahal against the ropes. Goldberg going for a clothesline and he gets thrown over the top. This is a Royal Rumble. Goldberg would have just been eliminated. Fact play for Goldberg though. Is he not a, it's not a Royal Rumble. Not at all. Mahal goes to the side. Mahal then trying to get back in. Goldberg with a shot punch perhaps. Goldberg getting his arm here worked against the rope. Mahal with a big boot. Massive boot for Mahal. And then Mahal with a strike to the back of Goldberg. But Goldberg, oh, pretty much no selling Mahal's offense here. And then that's that big sidekick to the top of Mahal's temple. Goldberg catching him. That's a backbreaker. And then drops the knee on top of Mahal's head. And a big boot. And then another knee to Jinder Mahal. And Jinder Mahal not being able to, to live with this sort of offence that Goldberg is dishing out at the moment. Goldberg now going to the, the middle rope. You don't see Goldberg appear often. He has a flying clothesline off the top. Or off the middle rope even. Goldberg. He's got Mahal up. Gorilla press. Slam. And he just drops him there. Jesus. Mahal needs to get a breather here. He's been absolutely pummeled by Goldberg. And those knees... Could buy him a bit of time. Club and blow to the back of Bill. And now Mahal. Mahal calling for the, the camel clutch here. I think he is. And he's got it locked in. He's got it locked in. Will Goldberg tap it? Will Go of course he won't tap it. Will Goldberg back to his feet. Drops Jinder Mahal. And Jinder Mahal. Gets sent for the backbreaker. And I think Mahal's... Um, Bit of momentum there, may have ran out. Goldberg grabs him by the throat. Gorilla press slam into that spine buster. And when Goldberg lands that, you know you're in trouble. He's almost snapped Mahal in half there. Mahal though, again with the knees. Mahal countering. And Mahal going for the Mahal Ma Maja Raja manoeuvre. And on Goldberg just gets the shoulder up. And Mahal can't believe it. I can't believe it, Mahal. Moments away from beating Bill Goldberg there, really. Bill Goldberg would have had to retire. He wouldn't have been able to show his face again had he lost that there to Jinder Mahal. But thankfully for Goldberg, he didn't. And a big shoulder block for Bill. Mahal. Now may be in for a bit. Oh, big knee there, Mahal. Great counter. Mahal with strikes in the corner. They're raking Goldberg's eyes over the top rope, trying to blind the big man. That's one way to beat Goldberg. Goldberg rolls through and takes him down and Goldberg into a quick cover. One of the weakest looking spears we'll ever see. Bill though back to his feet. Mahal ducked underneath. Bill Goldberg caught him. Bill Goldberg with a clothesline though. And it could be all they wrote here. Jack Hammer time. Into the cover, sure that'll do it. <laughs> Fuck, no way. How? All right, we'll just we'll hit him with the spear then. If he doesn't want to lose to the jackhammer, he can lose to the spear. Goldberg, oh, we're not even going for it. We're going for another jackhammer, right? Okay. All right, Bill, you can do whatever you want. All right, jackhammer this time hooks the leg, hooks the leg properly, and Mahal is going to get beat properly, just like that. Goldberg, your winner. Winning debut. Zinder Mahal, as everybody expects, lo lo loses tonight, but it wasn't easy. Could have a good fight. Bill's aged about 50 years in that match. He came in looking fresh, and now he looks like dog shit, but uh, big win regardless. 
could we be looking at the uh, the next champion here? Maybe. Mediocre match, rivalry complete, Mahal and Goldberg. How can it be complete? Oh, is it even going anywhere? What the fuck? How is it being completed? I don't get that. Oh well. I'm the next we have uh, <laughs> I just don't understand that at all. But Brock Lesnar calling out Randy Orton. Excellent promo, the rivalry now grows to level three, and then in the main event, we've got Raquel Gonzalez and Becky Lynch taking on Lev Morgan and Sasha Banks. And it's a win for Morgan and Banks. Hopefully that I think this will do good. It did do good. Four stars. Brilliant. Right, okay. Now it's time to see what SmackDown does. Oh man, they're opening up with a universal title match. Roderick Strong, Cena. Cena picks up the win. Cena retains. Cena gets a four. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? They're doing two title matches. SmackDown seems to be going all out for it this week. Uh, Mandy Rose, Nikki Ash in match three. Or match two, even. Oh my god, they've, they've tanked this. I can just tell. I can just tell. Uh, main event now, WWE Women's Championship match. Shayna Baszler versus Asuka. And all that. So they've, they've put on two. Four star matches, Jesus, right, it's going to be a win here for Smackdown, it's just a matter of how many fans did they win by. So we got 22.7 thousand, uh, Sami Zayn just tweeted Raw's joke, glad to be free, T time to leave all the losers behind, okay. Well I mean Sami Zayn was doing absolutely nothing on Raw, so it's not a big loss for me. What the hell, Smackdown actually lost fans, they got 19.3 thousand, we got 22.7, so we've gained about 3.4 on, on Raw, even though they... Put, on SmackDown, even though they put on two four-star matches. I don't quite understand that. I don't get it. I am a bit confused as to how that happened. But I'll not complain. It's another small win for us. We're now only 60,000 behind, heading into SummerSlam. Um, yeah, no, 60,000. It's a lot better than it was. Week 15, SummerSlam, Triple H. Hey, something's came up. Hey, listen, something's came up. All special matches will cost double this week. Damn it. Okay, I'm told it's some kind of union thing. Sorry about that. I mean, that's not a good time for this to happen when we plan on doing a bunch of special matches at, at SummerSlam. That kind of sucks. What? No fucking way. Hey, something's come up and I can't have Brock Lesnar taking part in your show this week. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. We can't have the champ. We can't have the, the biggest draw by far on our roster compete. Are you serious? Uh, Montez Ford, what happened from the main event match last week? All you can do is throw it away. Just guess I'll keep my expectations in check. Maybe take them to another show. Uh, Kofi Kings is ready to tear up his contract and move on. The only way you can convince me to say... Ah, no, nah, okay. I'm not giving Kofi 100k. No way. Bye-bye then. Yeah, it looks like Kofi Kingston's walked it. So, looks like uh, people, that's what they do on WWE Raw. They regularly just walk out. Uh, Goldberg's contract expires. Uh, Commissioner Gold ensure that Alexa Bliss fights this week and we get a health spa reward. So... I don't know what we're going to do, but the fact that Brock Lesnar can't compete tonight just completely it messes up this show. It completely messes up this show. Um, let's go to the show logistics. We're going to obviously use this arena here. Uh, veteran crew, we want that on. Network quality lights, we want that. We're going to purchase the commercial campaign for 75000 We'll take that. Um, we'll apply that. So at the moment, what's this show cost? It's 140000 Quite a lot of money. And I don't know what we're going to do. We can't have the title match anymore because Lesnar is not available. Lesnar's out. So, I don't know. What do we do? What do we? Not a lot we can do. We're just going to have to deal with it. Uh, Becky Lynch's rivalry with Banks has dropped down to level 3, which is unfortunate. But we're just going to have to go ahead with it. We need, to, we need that to happen. What, maybe Goldberg Joe. Do we just have Goldberg Joe at SummerSlam? I mean, we could, now that there's no Brock Lesnar. What's Orton going to do? What, what can Orton do? What's going to main event then? I don't know. It's absolutely, it's turned into a mess, guys. So, we'll be back next time to see how SummerSlam goes. It's uh, it's going to be difficult with no Brock Lesnar. But we'll, we'll have to make the most of it. What power cards are available? Not a lot. Um, we might use this here. Special promotion. Ensure that you'll retain most of your fans this week. At least if we use that, it will limit the the damage that not having Brock Lesnar is going to cause us. Because I know for a fact that we're going to get we're going to lose this week big time. Because like I said, he is the biggest guy. Look at that, he's got eighty nine popularity. He is by far, you know, our main guy, and we can't use him. I mean, the only good thing is his stamina is pretty low at twenty seven. So at least him getting a week off will boost that up by a decent amount. But it's not ideal. Going into your biggest pay-per-view. You know, everyone, I mean, I wouldn't even mind if it was Becky Lynch. I could have lived with that, but 
to not have Brock Lesnar here, 89 popularity, that is going to screw us over big time, but we'll see how we go on next time out, we'll just have to put somebody in his place and, and hope for the best, maybe Jinder Mahal, maybe give Jinder Mahal another chance, try hindering the gender. anyway, that's it, till next time, leave a like, comment, I'll catch you in the next one, till then, peace.